Hello, in today's video we will be testing how substances, in this case iodine, diffuse through plastics like polyethylene. In the first part of the video we will look at how it happens, and in the second part of the video we will look at why heat has a large role in the experiment. To do this experiment, you will need a beaker, a polyethylene bag, a potato, potassium iodide, and copper sulfate. Firstly, you must prepare a starch solution, so that we all know when the diffusion reaction has taken place. To do this, you'll need to grate the potato, put 25 milliliters of that potato into the beaker, fill the beaker up to 100 milliliters of boiling water, and then mix it. Secondly, You'll have to get your polyethylene bag and place it inside the beaker, but have the top out so that it is completely watertight. After this, you'll need to put one spatula of copper sulfate into the bag. You'll see that this is a blue crystal. Then put two spatulas of potassium iodide into the plastic bag. As you can see, this is a yellow liquid. Now seal the bag. As you can see in this picture, the compound copper iodide formed is a reddish brown liquid. Also, elemental iodine is, fo is also formed. Lastly, you'll need to seal the packet in the starch solution and wait to see if the iodine diffuses through the packet for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, as you should see, the starch solution has turned blue, showing us that the iodine has diffused through. This has happened because the iodine is a starch indicator, meaning that it changes colour when in contact with starch to blue or purple. In this reaction, the iodine molecules have squeezed through the plastic polymer into the starch solution. Out of interest, we looked at how the reaction would, have be, would be affected if we do all the same steps, but we placed a copper sulfate and potassium iodide in the beaker after the solution had cooled down. As I predicted, the solution did not take place because there, were not enough, there was not enough energy for diffusion. This is because heat is an important factor in diffusion because it needs, it's needed for the particles to pass through the plastic and move with energy. Thank you for watching.